And the bye, I can't even know so. No, but say you get out of the bo, or but say I can't go because today, as you know, to Oma, if you are man, but Oma, eh, she done and got a baby. She went to lie, na ya ne meno, but she get out na Eastern News Twenty Four. Bo, ever since we turn ya bo zi, I na bo morning tea ni lo akupo. Eh, no but she get out ya before dika, dika is ko na ngwa. I gana abo kwa nombo, diki ike kwa la ye. I need you daily update. Basta maki yene meno buda. Ana basta maka. Ngolo wana azo. Um, diko si di. Obo liye biya flan prime minister kuno ni wako po. Ay wote lu unu. Si kuno te alo. Basta maki yabi yife. Oga si kuyen do zon do. On do zon kugase. Mana ya simba na yege te kuru ni ya kuno ge yabi yife. Unu ge siya ya. Una drop all like comment. You know if unu chero. Basta maki yabi yife. Also the key be a carbon bosses again a join a cabado key so line ya in a me she a ya could take woman na in those aka all right cab up in your second you go soon ya be fair as you make your way over to you be from prime minister my son but over to you sir for the recruitment that are going the uh the uh, the referendum uh convention which is uh, the second convention of uh, Biafra, is going to be exactly the way we had it last year. There is going to be registration, of course, uh, with fee, a certain fee, because the place is not uh, free of charge. So you are going to register the same way you registered last year. So you have to prepare for that. For that. The registration fee will be announced and um, it will a little bit be different because we are going to have at least many days of this uh, convention, not just like uh, the other time to this. It was not it was not enough because there was a lot of things that uh, we did not do. Uh, so this time around, we are going to have at least four, four to five days program. It is not a small thing. The declaration and the program that follows it, we are talking about a nation here. So the last time, where the unveiling of the Biafra Liberation Army, for example, was just at the dying minute. I was almost leaving the hall before uh, my attention was called and I went back to unveil the Biafra Liberation Army. So this time around, we will have enough time to do everything we needed to do for history's sake. So it is going to be uh, uh, registration, payment for registration. It may be a little bit expensive than the last time, considering the fact that we're going to have four days. So that's why it is very important that we start from this month of January to start preparing for that. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. So I was I was there. I saw everything that happened. You, you already left. You, you have to come back again and um, do the unveiling. Everything happened right. I was live and direct. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, His Excellency. And uh, okay. Another thing I want to ask if it is possible we know on time the period so that we can organize like I work in a very big company I think there are so many people like that so that we can we already uh, plan our leave last year so so that if the date doesn't fall on the on the leave I've already planned so that I can start uh, negotiating with uh, with my chef with my guy for work so that I can change some days. So that is this, and for the money, so that we start with for the money, that is not a problem. We are me, I don't do my work mango since last year, <laughs> so I think I mean for the dates for the leave. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll be expecting this uh conversion to happen either in the same October, so it depends on, on uh, the level of water water we give to Nigeria between now and May. So, but everybody should be looking at October 2024. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, sis. And also, you have the mic, sir. Your question. All right. Uh, good afternoon, my PM. Uh, good afternoon, the host. Um, Mr. Uh, Stella, um, I think uh, Biafran Warrior Queen just uh, asked uh, part of the question I wanted to ask my PM, which was uh, precisely on the date. And uh, thank you very much, my PM, for giving us a clue uh, about that. So, dear friends, we have all head October, so we should be preparing. So, right now, I want to ask more questions concerning the data 
concerning the database uh, collections and uh, we coming to Finland, the roles that we are expected to play, because I want you to please elaborate more so that people will understand uh, um, the reason why we are coming to Finland and uh, and uh, concerning the data drafting, uh, concerning that the data drafting, because I personally, I want to believe that um, we coming to Finland is to agree. We coming to Finland is to agree and to make sure that uh, we agree to all the grievances that has been stated. I don't. I'm. I don't want to know if, as an individuals, because we are expected to be there, maybe uh, over thousands of uh, of beer friends to be there. So I don't. I am not also expecting uh, over the thousands of beer friends to be there as an individuals coming there to you know uh, uh, drafting their grievances each each by each i mean one by one so uh i want to know and i want you to just you know brief us or brief beer friends here what we are expected because i have to me i'm expecting that we sh we are there to represent and to agree to what what the government has brought out and uh, it will be presented open openly and publicly to, to us we that are present there then we have to sign and agree to that grievances so I want to know if that should be the case. Thank you very much, my PM. Thank you. Okay, now, so, okay. so what uh, the the, what the, the question the question you asked now, I don't know why you or four people will be asking such question. Please uh resources address it. Okay, now, so yes, uh PM started by making a public announcement for those who are interested in drafting this very declaration then is that it's not like you're going to finland with your own declaration to be signed people will work on it it will be reviewed it will be adopted and in this finland second convention it will be read the grievances and every other thing that is included in that very uh, draft will be read to the public as a declaration it will be signed. That declaration is the ultimate declaration of the Biafran independence. Then, if there is any that can you know, I am here for some months, everybody return home and stay. So, it is total declaration of Biafra. Not you go there and uh, do this. That's what he means by October. It is very, very imminent and very, very close. So, get yourself prepared to Finland so that you can be able to sign be part of those who sign the documents. Of the declaration, declaration of the independent state of Biafra. All right, thank you very much, my Prime Minister. And I think this question I just asked, uh, it was not uh, directly because of me. I really quite understand, but I just wanted to clear the doubt of maybe some other people who might definitely maybe after this space will definitely come up to ask. You know, so we should know exactly what to answer. That. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I really understand. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. thank you very thank you very much and then also let me also make it very clear that in the declaration of biafra in finland there will be unveiling of a new biafra flag and this biafra flag will be uh the uh, the biafra flag will be will have a committee that will comprise the entire 40 state that will deliberate on the flag and the Biafra 40 state will be uh, represented by either administrator, each administrator of each state, or appointed person from each state who will deliberate on the flag and unveil a new flag in Finland. The current flag of Biafra represents Arab, African Arab uh, uh, color. So we cannot go with that flag. So a new flag will be unveiled in Finland. Thank you. Remember that even if we unveil the flag in Finland, at the end of the day, uh, people don't. People of Biafra don't uh, actually like it. It is still uh, possible. There is still possibility to change it after we have been recognized by the United Nations and become a nation of our own. Nigeria, the flag you see today is not the original flag of Nigeria. So for everybody to know, because some people will begin to talk now. Okay, flag, 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 flag is just a secondary thing. So once we unveil it in Finland, and then we we do a canon with Nigeria for some few months. Of course, not on conventional war, but a complete guerrilla, ruthless guerrilla warfare. 
and then we go into talk with the United Nations and the other uh, foreign nations for the recognition. It is possible that if Biafra don't like the flag, the flag we are going to put it to Parliament and bring a new flag. But I believe that the flag we are going to bring will be uh, will represent what Biafra uh, originally is all about: our culture, value, and our value. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Can we call on Mazi Onye Kachuku? Thank you, my lady. Uh, my Prime Minister, His Excellency uh, Simon and Joko, the good guy and the Universal Peace Ambassador. Don't forget. Thank you, my Prime Minister, for having you again today. Uh, my name is Onye Kachuku. I just want to uh, ask for the email to be applied for the wording of the declaration. That is my question, sir. Please, uh, I don't know the email to be applied. All the news media that have reported you to have the email, go there and search for the email. How can you be asking for email or something that I posted on my own platform? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Can we call on Marzi Simon Eba Akos? Wow. Thank you so much. Uh my beloved sister, Stella, and uh, my honorable prime minister, the Ochoare, one of Biafra. In fact, not only Biafra, the whole of Africa, because through this, Africa will resurrect. God bless you. It can never be possible if it, it does not have divine hands. Everything you have been doing and the wisdom you have been using to carry it out is never man-made. It can only be Chuko Kabiyama. And that is why most times, whatever I have in mind, before I will even do it, you have already uh, done, before I will even say it, you have already done it. So, I, all these grievances are what I view, it is not peculiar to I alone. It is what everybody have experienced. And it's just to table it even though the whole world have known it already let it be for record purpose that aside sorry i want to make a request my prime minister simon epa i want to make a request it somehow doesn't sound palatable to me again when i hear biafra liberation army no I, i'm making a request if it is possible can you please change it from Biafra Liberation Army, if possible, to Biafra Army? We are Biafra Army, not Liberation again, because they have done the job. Biafra, as far as I'm concerned, is already liberated. Now we have our Biafra Army, just like Biafra Navy, just like Biafra Air Force. Let it be Biafra Army, not Liberation, because they have done the job of Liberation. So that is just my request, and that's what I want to ask from you, if possible. Thank you. Thank you very much. But I must tell you that uh, there will remain Biafra liberation until the declaration of Biafra. After the declaration of Biafra, they become Biafra Army and Biafra Air Force, Biafra Navy, and so on and so forth. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad. I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you. Can we call on Mr. Ife? Ife, you have the mic. Thank you very much. Uh, um, success on the Stella. Thank you. PM. Good afternoon, sir, from here. Um, PM, my question is uh, it's not uh, about uh, what they are discussing now. Because me, personally, I want to know some things about, uh, one, the issue of money. Is there anything that the government is putting in place to make sure that those companies in Biafra land we start paying tax from this January. Anyone that say that they don't want to pay, let them leave Biafra land. That is one. And two, the uh, the governors and the politicians in Biafra land that have become our enemy. Is there anything that the gov uh, the government of Biafra is putting in place to make sure that they they will never have the power to give orders to our people again? And three. Is there anything the government is putting in place to make sure that those terrorists that is entering uh, entering Biafra land, that none of them will escape through the border? Thank you very much, PM. Thank you very much. Your question is the definition of which one are the, are the angel. 
when you hear Igbo people say, Ucho Nyabianjo, you just demonstrated it. So the answer to your question is yes, we are putting everything in place for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, sir. Can we come on? Come, come on, three. We have the mic, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, my question is just very simple. Uh, PM, good afternoon, sir. Uh, is uh, Kama, Mr. Eze. Uh, please, uh, how do we, uh, those of us that are abroad, how do we get involved in the, the FATU government in homeland, uh, at least so that we can help and make sure that everything is uh, functioning properly? Like me, uh, I am from the old uh, 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 point, uh, uh, Onicha, precisely, but uh, I, I now realize that we're in EDA, but uh, I've been trying to see how I can get involved, but it's not possible yet, so that we can also help to uh, make sure that the, the, the state is functioning as uh, expected. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. At this point, don't get involved. Your only involvement we expect from you is to support financially to purchase arms and ammunition to defend our land. Don't get involved. And those, and that's thank you for this question because a lot of people are contacting the de facto government how they will contribute money to their state. We don't need your money in the homeland. Contribute money to the diaspora where you are. Don't look for an account where to contribute money to. Your money should go to government in exile. The website is there. Our fundraising is this Saturday. Every Saturday we have fundraising. Make your contribution there. Forget the people in the homeland. Leave them alone. They know what to do. They are being piloted by the best, at least, that have represented you up to this point. And it is not at this point you think that, uh, you know, we are going to do mistake. Allow the people in the, in the homeland to pilot the affair for now until further notice. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We are noted. Thank you. Can we call on Simon? And please, and please, this response, this response, this response I give to this our brother, brother should be caught and shared and in all platforms. Platform. Thank you. Thank you. No, tell sir. No, tell sir. Simon Eber, are you there? Simon Eber, dear friend, your co-host, your co-host is Nico. He's good guy. He's good guy. He's good. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Uh, meet yourself. Meet your wife. Meet your wife. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Simon Eber, can we call on uh, Biafra United, United States? United States of Biafra, you have the mic, sir. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody from here. I greet my greetings to my special one and only Prime Minister, the Prime Minister of Biafra, Mazi Simon Ekba, the good guy, the ambassador of peace, the accolade and go and go on and go on. The person that made me to stop crying, the person that restored my value and dignity as a Biafran. I'm so happy to speak to you the first time I've been wanting to have this opportunity. Sir, please, uh, in regard to the drafting of uh, the Biafra uh, declaration, I mean, in stating the all the grievances, I want to know if, um, like Biafrans, uh, can we send, can individuals, you know, send uh, that draft some of the grievances and send you know, like me, I will not be applying, you know, to I'll be among the people that will be drafting. But I'm saying, like, from the experience we have, we can write some of the grievances that we see as a suggestion. Can we have such thing and, you know, write the grievances that we have witnessed and put it in a suggestion so that when the committee are looking, they can take some of those copies and look at them. If they are good, they can make some, get some ideas from there. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Thank you very much. But think about it that you are part of the committee and you receive one million suggestion. How will you handle it? <laughs> okay. All right. Um, it will be so, uh, it will be uh, really a big task to deal with. All right. That's why uh, we are following 
the uh, international standard of democratic system. The government is that you don't actually allow everybody to bring something in. You give people the mandate, give the trust, and believe that they will deliver. And because what we are talking about is something that is there, open for people to know. We just want to formally demonstrate Biafra readiness to embrace a true civilization and a true democracy. That's why we are throwing this open. Otherwise, like I said, 2% can actually write this declaration and seal it. So if we do it like that, you are going to receive 1 million of different opinion, and then you begin to scrutinize it one after the other. It does not make a lot of sense to us. It's going to be a distraction. So that's why we focus on making sure that those who are interested in being part of the committee can come and then you can discuss it have like two hours meeting uh, for a session and then you will drive something have another meeting two hours drive something have another meeting two hours done until we have a complete brief of our grievances listed and uh, that will make a lot of sense to people to the united nation to america to europe and every other country that are interested in knowing what Biafra is going through and why we will be declaring Biafra in Finland. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Pleasure to speak to you today, sir. Remember, Thank you very rem much. remember everybody must remember that I have never said something and it didn't happen. Remember that when I started this thing, I told them we are going to bring Biafra from diaspora. It is happening. The declaration will be in diaspora and the restoration will happen in Biafra land. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Can we call on Escoban? You have the mic. Please, if you want to speak, raise up your hand so you can be called up, okay? Okay. Good afternoon, dear friends all over the world. Good afternoon, Prime Minister. Good afternoon, the ministers in the building. Sir, please, my question is, you know, they, are, they say for a government to function properly, you have to be the executive, the legislative, and the judiciary. So my question is about the judiciary. What kind of judiciary system are we going to be practicing in Biafra? Or is it something that will be deliberated after the restoration? Then my second question is, the judges that are of Biafra descent that are currently serving under Nigeria, after the declaration of Biafra, will they be retained or will they be dismissed or will they be sent back to school because it's obvious they will not be accustomed with the law of biafra then tell you, sir my question is the healthy uh, and the chapter the lck chapter is there a way we in the homeland can get it maybe through pdf you know we can't get the raw copy so i would like to you know go through it read it get accustomed with the constitution before the declaration or even after the declaration thank you Thank you very much. We're going to make uh, the uh, chapter available electronic. We're going to. Can this as a don meet himself? It's not as a don. That's a God know it. It's God know it. Okay, so we're going to um, have the charter of Biafra, a second declaration digitized. I will give that directive in a few days' time. So we may have it in Amazon and other places. So yes, we are going to make that uh, possible for download. But at the same time, the charter is the first and original charter which is subject to amendment. And in Helsinki Second Convention, the charter will be updated. So uh, it is very important that you have the old, the real original charter, and then the, the updated charter that will be uh, unveiled in Helsinki for the Second Convention. That will include the work and everything that have been done that we have done from 2023 after the declaration till 2024 in the second uh, declaration and uh, the unveiling of the charter. So, and then the issue, who is this guy? Can you remove this person as a dumb, please? Remove him, please. This. Uh... Sorry, sir. I have removed him. Yeah. All right so uh and then the issue of uh, the justice system uh we are starting uh you know putting up the biafra justice system and 
The, uh, the Chief Justice of Biafra will be announced very, very soon. Remember that the government is still in exile. So the justice, the chief judge of Biafra will also be in exile. It's going to be someone somewhere in the diaspora. So we are working on the justice system. And for now, we will probably have a modern of the Finnish justice system. The Finnish justice system is, is what we are going to have uh, at this point. Sorry, somebody has been interrupting me with telephone call from Luxembourg. I don't know who that person is. So I don't know. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Someone has been interrupting me with uh, right. phone call. Me. All right. So yes, with the justice system uh, will be unveiled as well, of course, in the declaration. But before then, we will announce the um, the uh, the uh, the chief judge of the Biafra, and of course, we're going to have some kind of uh, designed um, uh, justice system of Biafra. It is going to be almost the same thing with Finland, which is uh, you know uh, the only way to get justice and um, and uh, follow the rule of law. So we're going to have that. Like I said, we will bring Finland to Biafra. Most of the ones that we feel that works for us we will adopt them. Most of those that we feel that needed development, we need to build and develop on our own, we are going to do that. So uh, this is what uh, we are going to offer to the Afro people, where justice, equity, fairness will be supreme. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Can we call on Exodus? You have the mic. Exodus, you have the mic. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. This is good, man. Thank you so much um, for giving me the mic. Um, thank you, our joy giver, our prime minister. You, we, you are our joy giver. I just want to ask if um, there is a particular um, broadcast that we the, in the media need to be doing right now because of the stage that we are in. Is there any a particular type of broadcast that you really expect from us to be doing right now so that uh, we can really be hitting hitting it where it really matters most. Uh, that is what I want to know from you, uh, beloved Prime Minister. Uh, yes, you. the broadcast that you people need to be doing now is to hammer on the killings happening across Nigeria, sponsored by Nigeria government for the Islamics, for the total Islamization of Nigeria. The news coming from all corners of the north, the killings of Christians, bandit taking over. Abuja in Niger State, for example, is just a one hour drive from Abuja. They are there killing people every day. These are the things that need to be uh, you know, be broadcast every day. And of course, the, the next level of the Biafra liberation, including this declaration that is going to happen in Finland. So you can boldly be broadcasting about the declaration of the restoration of independent state of Biafra in 2024, because that is what the enemy don't want to hear. They think that when they hear that you are going to declare Biafra, they will okay. do everything they say is not going to happen. Their own is to sabotage it not to happen. Like I said, you can never sabotage it. The only thing that can delay us on this declaration is when there is no finance to purchase arms and ammunition to defend our land. And I believe that Biafra will come out and troop out in numbers to do what they have not done before. So all we need is just arms and ammunition to defend our land so that you are not going to be killed the way you are. They are, they are getting killed in other parts of Nigeria. Thank you. OK, so uh, thank you, sir. So we broadcast about the, the terrorism of the Nigerian uh, terrorist government and then the declaration of Biafra. And then we hammer also on the funds, the aspect of funds, because that is what brings about the arms and the ammunition that we need exactly. to declare their exactly. Thank you, sir. And why are you not in the media yet? I am in the media. I've been doing my space. Uh, it's just that we, we, you said you will call for a meeting so that we resolve some issues, and that meeting has not yet been called. And the Bayadalo Lindenu, Kunis Nesser, and the Ame, Niva Pupo. 
Adeke iso wege ya bife eno liye de balon di jento la yon kuga seni lwa kuwa. Numba sinke tata anwa. Onza di kibu ya bo. Kefi wele yiku basta maka ya bife ndani yon kuga seni lwa kuwa. Foku wole dinne oku ya diko sidi kefi wele yiku basta maka ya bife. Drop wa ya on the comment section below. Chitipwede ya instant news 24 kaisi wene wotedo nupozi ya do.